Welcome to Hayfield Manor, our family owned hidden gem here in the University Quarter in the heart of Cork City. 10 minutes stroll into the heart of the city and a brilliant base because everything that you'd like to do and see is about 30 minutes from our doorstep here, including Blarney Castle and Gardens, Cove, the Titanic Museum, the Heritage Trail, the Jemison Distillery at Middleton, Kinsale, the Wild Atlantic Way, the Ireland's Ancient East, and so much more. I could talk about it all day, but I'd rather introduce you to some of our amazing characters and show you a little of the hotel. First point of contact is our warm welcome, and that is essential. We have an amazing concierge team with Michael and Frank, always here and ready to welcome you and ensure a really special start to your arrival and stay at Hayfield. And if you're very, very good, Frank might even be persuaded to launch into a tune or two. Away, Frank. Once upon a time, there was a tavern where we used to raise a glass or two. Remember how we laughed away the hours and dreamed of all the great things we would do. Those were the days, my friend, we thought they'd never end. We'd sing and dance forever and a day. We'd live the life we choose, we'd fight, we'd never lose. Those were the days, oh yes, those were the days. Woohoo! Nothing like a song to set the scene and to put everybody in a great mood. And why wouldn't they be coming here to our beautiful hotel? And onwards we go now into our very inviting lobby. This beautiful space was recently refurbished by Anne-Marie Scally, the oldest daughter of our proprietors, the Scally family. So she has some beautiful touches here. Always, of course, an open fire to set the warming tone. Our wonderful receptionists here ready to welcome everybody. And off of this space, we have our beautiful residence lounges, our drawing room, our library, our lovely spa, a nice place to while away a few hours, our grand staircase leading up to 88 bedrooms and suites. And we also have our very own South African legend running the show here, married to the wonderful and aforementioned Anne-Marie and an honorary Corkonian at this stage. He's been here for 18 years. Yeah, 18 years. Yeah. Etienne, you're flat out taking know, care I'm of the kidding. shop. Yeah, let me take this thing off. Tell me, what's your favorite thing about Cork now that you've been here so long? I always say, what's there not to love? Mm. When everyone is like Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just the friendliness, the, the, the attentiveness. She, a, she's always smiling and that's the biggest thing. So I, I, that's it's probably the people, the pro people of Cork, that's my life. Excellent answer. I didn't pay him now or anything for that, I must say. I didn't. And now, here we go, through to our library. A really cosy, inviting little space where it's nice to just relax and while away the hours, maybe with a cup of tea or a pre or post dinner drink. And then on out into our beautiful, serene, enclosed back garden which is a really nice space, tucked away here. You have to come through the main hotel to find this little oasis of calm. A lot of bedrooms surrounding this space here as well too, which are very popular. Nice to have a garden view in a city centre hotel. And then we'll just walk along here and in to Orchids, our beautiful main dining room, which is where every guest who stays with us gets to enjoy our famous traditional Irish breakfast. It really is a fabulous dining experience and we get a lot of compliments and awards for our breakfast. In addition to that, however, we're also a really popular spot for afternoon tea. A really nice thing to do while you're here with us as a guest, or indeed our locals also are great to come up for special occasions for this little treat. And really, when you're in Ireland, you know, there's nothing like a cup of tea. Just to spend a little time and chat with friends and watch the world go by over a nice cuppa. So I'm going to take this with me because I still have a few more things to show you. We'll enjoy this along the way. Here we go. Out back into our lovely lobby. And I know I did say earlier that the lobby was the heart of our home, but I think everybody knows that the heart of every Irish hotel is the bar. And here is our manor bar, a place where 
everyone knows your name. <laughs> Just steal a catchphrase. And everybody includes John, our wonderful bar manager, Hello, here almost as long as the hotel is open and spends many, many days welcoming and chatting to our guests, getting to know them and hearing all their stories. Absolutely. And we feel next year is going to be the best year ever. Uh, we're yep. all excited and we're looking forward to everybody coming and taking all our gins and our yeah. new whiskies. There's a whole new range there, as you can see. We have a lot um, of artists and gin producers now in Cork. Yes. We're on that gin zeitgeist. And of course, we've long been famous in Ireland for whiskey. We have the Med Middleton Jemison Distillery just off the road. Yes. And with loads of other beautiful whiskies as well from all over Ireland. We have a few Scottish ones as well, just in case. That's just right. in case, as a backup plan. And we have the most famous of all, of course, our local stout, which oh, is, yes, yes our uh -huh. stout. Not to be outdone by Guinness. There we we Corkonians like to have our own version of everything. And there we go. We're looking forward oh. to all coming back next year and we'll sit down and have a drink. And Thank you, John. That looks like a delicious pint of creamy pea. I'll take that with me. I'll leave you the tea. Bye-bye. So now next up on our little tour is Paris Garden Bistro. I love this more informal, relaxed dining space, also designed and decorated by Anne-Marie. And it is a really bright conservatory style bistro where we again welcome a lot of our locals. And everybody knows if the locals are coming to a hotel restaurant, then it is a good place to eat because they know all of the best places to go. And this is definitely one of them. And our executive head chef, Mark Staples, and his team spend a lot of time, of course, making sure that our menu is sustainable, it is locally sourced produce, and of course we're spoiled in Cork. We have a huge coastline and we have the best of the best in terms of seafood. This, chef tells me, was delivered this morning off the boats from West Cork, and some of the seafood and shellfish I picked up myself. I popped into our friends, the O'Connells, at the English Market to pick up a selection of bits and pieces. And they are just wonderful. A lot of our guests, if they're staying with us, can of course pick up some seafood um, or other items in the English market and our chefs will create a dish for them. So that's a nice little thing to do while you're here. We like to think that Cork is the gourmet capital of Ireland. We've got so much on our doorstep in terms of food and produce. And now we're gonna go down to one of my favorite rooms in the hotel, maybe because it hosts all of our wine collection. It is the Vine wine cellar and it is such an intimate cozy space to the best of my knowledge it's also the only subterranean dining venue in cork city and we are very pleased that we welcome a lot of families and groups to share this space for special celebrations birthdays anniversaries small weddings just a gathering maybe for a wine tasting or for a whiskey tasting Hi, Karen. How are you doing? Hello, chef. Just finished up. Or to chat to our job. chef. Wouldn't that be a bonus to your, <laughs> your dining experience at Hayfield Manor? So our aforementioned executive head chef, Mark Staples. How are you doing? How are you, chef? And what just is this? Just put on such lovely cheese board. We have oh. lovely cheese board, mozzarella, cooked bean, cashew blue, and some, some uh, cheddar cheese there as well. There is nothing I love more than a good cheese, cheese. board. And, and a glass of red wine from the vine cellar. Oh, how bad. What a way to spend, and spend an afternoon. Made all the better if all of the cheeses on the board are actually locally sourced and from Cork. From We're the English market. Super proud. From the English market. From the English market, you've got lovely good bean, you've got local mozzarella, that you can use in tomato salad, or it's great mm. for cooking with as well. Um, my favourite is a good bean. It's kind of salty, nutty taste. And again, it's just from West Cork, by the coast. Delicious. Delicious. I cannot honestly think of anything nicer than to share a space like this with food like that from our wonderful team. It is just like, that's what it's all about. Making memories, enjoying food. Hopefully we will welcome you to enjoy it here with us soon. Until then, it's a slauncher from everyone at Hayfield Manor and we can't wait to welcome you back.